Hi everybody, if you want to know how many decorative boxes like this I have in my home and what we use them for, stay tuned. Watch this open collaboration, My Decorative Boxes Purpose and Use, hosted by Sharon. She's so fabulous. Stay tuned. This is the entry to our home and we've got a couple of things here. We have a vase full of flowers and a mirror to check yourself when you're going in or out or answering the door. And over here, I have what's probably my favorite mirrored box, decorative box. It's actually a Lazy Susan. And it's got four wooden compartments in it. And I like it really well because it allows me to put treats in each one and to keep them separate. So when guests come in or out or the Grand Orbals come in or out, they can grab what it is they like. So we have peppermint and butterscotch, lifesavers and cinnamon discs. I really like to have the peppermint in there because it makes the whole entryway smell really good when you first come in. And I like that. I think if the home smells good when you first come in, you just feel more welcome and more inviting. It does have a chip down here at the bottom, but I don't care. I just keep that turned to the side. <laughs> Let's put him in the back. This is my favorite. He's got some decorations on the side and the mirrored and I like that he swivels. This one came from, I believe this one came from Ross and he was $13.99, $12.99 or $13.99, I'm not sure. In all honesty, the price tag is probably still on the bottom, but I'm not going to pick it up because I don't want to dump the candy all over the house. The dog would love it, but I don't think that's what we're going to do. And then next we're gonna go over here behind this little chair. Is a it's a plastic basket that is supposed to go in your laundry room but we keep Sophie's toys in it as you can see it's tucked out of the way it contains her toys and she's very capable of going back there and getting them she is familiar with the box and not afraid of it at all um, she'll leave her toys all over the floor but we just pick them up pick them up as we walk by and toss them into the basket and then when she wants to play she goes back and gets it, and that was probably, I want to say 15, 15 or 16, and that was from Target. But I wanted something specific for her and something that holds um, bigger items. She doesn't have a lot of big toys in there right now. Um, she doesn't. We don't keep a lot of toys for her. We keep two or three, four at a time, and then when one gets destroyed, we replace it with something else. But some of her toys have been pretty lengthy and pretty bulky. So I wanted something that would contain everything. And I like that it just tucks out of the way behind the chair, but she has plenty of room to get to it and it doesn't bother her um, to pull those out. So that's that one. And then the most important one in this room is this box right here. And this came from one of the home and garden centers, not like um, a place where you buy flowers, but a place where you buy like stepping stones and concrete statues and that type of thing. And my mom bought this many, many years ago. She just liked the piece and she had it either in her garden or on her deck for many, many years. And in 2015, my father passed away and he wanted his ashes. He wanted part of his ashes scattered over the graves of the babies that he and my mom lost as infants. And he wanted the rest of his ashes held to be mixed with my mom's when she eventually passes away. And they both want all of their ashes at that point scattered over the baby's graves. So when you are cremated and you want your ashes scattered, they typically come in like a little bit heavier than cardboard, but it's essentially a cardboard box that you can open. And my mom didn't like that at all. So this now holds my father's ashes. So this has a place of honor. Right now, obviously, it's on the mantle. Um, it's typically on the mantle or on the TV stand. If we, move, if we move the TV stand and it's not being used as a TV stand, if we put the TV up here, then Dad's ashes are on there. So that's what that is. I couldn't tell you what she paid for it. I would guess 25 to $35 in that range, but I really don't know. And I don't know the name of the store that she bought it at. I don't think they're even in business anymore. They were a store here in Des Moines and um, she used to frequent it quite a bit, but it went out of business a long time ago. So, but she's had that, I would guess probably going on 20 years. She's had that 20 years or more. So, and that's the most important decorative box that we have in our house.
This is the next decorative box that we have out. And again, it's just like the red one that's upstairs, except this one is silver and in our half bathroom just off of the kitchen and the garage. And again, this just serves as a place for the adults or the children to put jewelry or glasses or what have you as they're washing up in the morning, brushing their teeth, getting ready, um, whatever they want to use it for, just a place to contain um, their pretty things or their important things while they're getting ready in the morning. And yep, this is, whoops, let me turn that around a little better. $5.99 from Burlington Co. Factory. So upstairs, this is my art room. This is all the paint supplies and canvases and painting supplies. And then this is where all of the books are. And when we have kids or grandkids come and spend the night, then what we do is take this table down and we have um, blow up mattresses that they sleep on in here so we have one of the boxes right here and it's just a velvet lined box and it works for the grandkids or the adults who are spending the night as a safe place to put glasses or jewelry or anything that they want to keep track of but not get lost in the clutter of Sharing a room and getting ready and in and out in the mornings is just a safe place to put things so they know where they are and they're protected from the dog or from kids playing or what have you. And this I got, let me see. Yep, I got this at Hobby Lobby for $5.99. I got this one and another one that's very similar to it. I'll put it down here so you can see a little bit better. This is the end table that used to be downstairs in the living room along with the lamp. But as you can see, the lamp has been damaged. Um, the dog throws her toys around and the toy hit the lampshade and tore it up. So I need new lamps. And I want to put these end tables back downstairs when I get the living room done. But that hasn't happened yet. But as you can see, I don't have any drawers or anything for storage. So what I have in here is this basket that I believe I got at Target. Target or Hobby Lobby, but I believe I got it at Target and it was like seven or eight dollars. And it just serves as a place to keep the things that I want handy, um, lotion, migraine medicine, icy hot, deodorant, that sort of stuff. Then I want my earbuds if I'm listening to something that Phil doesn't want to listen to or if he's watching something on TV that I don't want to watch. Then I just have that there and it keeps the clutter contained and handy, but off of my nightstand. And I like that quite a bit. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse of how many decorative boxes we have in our home and how we use them. Make sure you hit that playlist so you can see how everybody else is using their boxes and their homes. Get some ideas for decorative storage and different ways that you can use these boxes in your home. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. We'll talk soon.